These are the best IEMs that you can buy, from $20 to $300 with some wild cards chucked in there for good measure. Let's talk about that. Big shout out to today's video sponsor, Linsol. Check out their fantastic deals in the links in the video description. Hey guys, I'm Ryan Thomas and I've covered a fair few IEMs over the past year and wanted to put out a little list of my favorite ones and a handful of different price points. I get asked a lot about what people should buy and these are my favorites. My preference is deep sub bass with sparkly treble and good width representation. Disclaimer, these are all IEMs that I've reviewed, I've actually personally used and I won't put anything on the list that I haven't tried because that seems kind of counterintuitive. All right, let's start off with the GOAT, Moondrops Chew 2. This is a compact, single dynamic IEM with a decent cable and a nice leather pouch. It is just 18 pounds here in the UK, making it one of the most affordable options out there for quality IEMs. It has an inoffensive V shape and really has decent soundstage and imaging for the money. It's got deep rumble thanks to its quite tall base shelf and some nice texture and sparkle throughout. It's a great option whether you're just starting out or you want to see how far you can stretch 18 pounds. It's a great option. Speaking of a restrictive budget, let's talk about the IEM that changed the game, the 7 Hertz Song Notes Zero. In collaboration with Crinical, this carved the path for ultra affordable IEMs with its fantastic neutral tuning, excellent technical attributes relative to its price and its lightweight shell. This one sounds flatter than the Chew 2, but it's an incredible single dynamic IEM for competitive gaming, thanks to its superb imaging, detail retrieval, and fatigue-free sound. Taking a step up in the budget, we are going to the $100 or less category. The single dynamic driver equipped SimGot EW200, they stand out. Uh, they've got fantastic forward mid-range and upper mid-range, making vocals very clear and very crisp, where they tend to get drowned out with most other sets, so this one really is an outlier. The soundstage and imaging are excellent, and I found that these worked incredibly well for listening to live recordings, where you want to feel immersed, you want to feel part of the environment. And you get a nice pouch with a decent cable too, so what's not to love? The 7 Hz Sonus is my current go-to recommendation after the Moondrop Chew 2. It's the first hybrid setup on this list, having a dynamic and a BA together. It's a bright yet contrasty sound that's engaging and fun whilst also delivering decent resolution with a natural timbre. Instrument and game detail separation is solid. There's some solid sub bass shove and the design is very unique. It comes with some great accessories to help it stand out from the pack. 7 Hertz absolutely nails this one and you can have it for $70, which is incredible. Moving on to actually my first ever IEM, the KZ ZS10 Pro. This is another hybrid, but this time it's a five driver setup comprised of a single dynamic and four BAs, which deliver a healthy amount of bass treble and texture. These, similarly to the Sonus, are very engaging. They're interesting set with a more V-shaped profile than some of the flatter tuning. So they're not amazing for editing or mastering, but they're great for just having a good time. I've worn these for a good year and to be honest, these have been one of my favorite sets, even after all the ones I've reviewed. Their imaging and sound stage are solid, as are the detail retrieval aspects. Maybe the only thing I'd nitpick against is the included accessories are a little bit cheap and the comfort is, it's a little odd. For the last IEM in this segment, I have gone with Triple Win and the HBB collaboration, the Kai Lua. I know I didn't give this the most glowing review due to its relative blandness compared to the previous three items, but I can't deny that the dual dynamic setup in this when it comes to detail and instrument separation is fantastic. There's no getting past the fact that these offer levels of price to performance that the other ones just cannot compete with. It's a slightly V-shaped tune with some nice low-end punch, but I didn't find them as engaging or as satisfying to listen to as the ZS10 Pro or 7 Hertz Sonus, but that is probably more due to my preference than anything else. And the accessories are a little bit weak compared to the competition, but I would say if you just care about quality, these are really hard to beat for the price. Let's break this thing up with some wild cards. Uh, Final Audio's VR3000 gaming IMs are actually really good for gaming. If you can put up with their less than perfect fit 
and fixed cheap cable. The soundstage is huge. The imaging is spot on. They have a, an included mic if you want, although to be fair, it's not very good. Uh, from a sound standpoint, they're perfect for competitive shooters, but their comfort leaves a lot to be desired. And I don't know if I would listen to a full album through these. Moondrop's Aria Snow Edition is still one of my go-tos for competitive FPS gaming. It's got a clean design, some great included accessories, and a flat sound that brings out detail that many other sets just cannot represent. A fantastic choice if you want something neutral with a cool design. And of course, Sennheiser's IE300s with a single dynamic driver. Wonderful bass, wonderful treble. These sound beautiful. They're smooth, they're engaging. They've got a tiny little profile that fit most people's ears. Their biggest hang up though is that they have like a recessed MMCX connector that you have to be unnaturally careful with to not break. Um, there are some replacement cables out there, but they are quite expensive. And yeah, I'm not sure I really trust these. I just really like how they feel and how they sound. All right, back to the main stuff. Let's go sub $250 now. Regular viewers of mine will have predicted this one a mile away. Uh, yeah, it's the Kiwi Ears Quintet. They have amazing texture and character. They're a hybrid made up of a dynamic, two BAs, a planar, and a piezoelectric. This IEM is tuned incredibly well, so everything sounds cohesive, whether you're listening to music, watching a film, playing games, they don't go quite as low as some of the other sets and I really like that deep bass, but there's enough there that make up for it and I think just the quality of the other aspects of the sound also make up for it. Just be cautious if you're sensitive to sibilance, these are a particularly energetic and vibrant set uh, and it's actually between the OH10 and these as my favourite overall set of IEMs. So we should probably talk about the OH10, made by Echo, this single dynamic and single BA hybrid offers incredible rumble and low end and sparkly treble and a very v-shaped profile with excellent sound stage this is not going to top any resolution charts and it's definitely not the most accurate pair for mixing and mastering but for those wanting something that really just keeps you hooked the the echo h10s are hard to beat they are a fun all-in-one lean in and lean back iem these are incredibly incredibly fun and uh, I can't just, I can't get past just how good they are, but their biggest hang up is that the included accessories are just woeful. Worth it though, in my opinion. All right, the last set is the most expensive one on this list. And I think it bears mentioning because though it's pricey, it offers a lot of what other more expensive sets give you, but at a lower price point. And I'm talking about the TA Audio Hype 2. It's a great high-end hybrid option comprising of dual dynamics and dual BAs. This set is on the larger side shell wise, so it's not gonna fit everyone's ears, but the sound is both bassy and dynamic. They are a good all round set that should please most. There's a slight metallic aftertaste with my copy that I didn't love, but it's probably the reviewer in me just really nitpicking the details, if I'm completely honest. It also comes with a fantastic set of accessories. So if you're wanting something that's a full package, it really is good for $2.99. And that is my collection of recommendations for IEMs between $20 and $300. There are some great options out there, thanks to the Chai Fi Explosion, although Sennheiser with their IE300s, you know, slightly different to that. But I, I really do like the whole idea of every week there's something that's a bit better because then we're driving forward at progress. And it, I think it's a really good thing for the space because not only are we getting better IEMs, but we're also getting really good IMs on the cheap as well. So if you don't want to spend more than $50, you don't have to. Hey guys, Ryan here. Um, my eyes look really red in this preview. I hope that's not what it looks like in the, in the thing. Um, if you have stuck around this far, then nice one. Uh, I am, I'm moving. I'm finally moving. Um, we've secured the house. So we're going to go and live there for a bit. After what, 10 years of living here? making videos out of my bedroom and the living room that then became my bedroom. Um, so yeah, I'm only on a single monitor set up with my Mac at the moment, uh, PCs unplugged. And uh, yeah, just I wanted to include this at the end because I know some of you have been watching my content for many, many years. And um, yeah, it's just a turning point in the whole, the whole thing. So uh, that's why there's been a pretty huge delay in uploads recently. This channel is going to be far more audio and just accessories in general. 
Um, I'm looking to do some videos on stuff like games consoles like I have done in the past, monitors, uh, keyboards, mice, that kind of thing. Uh, I know I've kind of dabbled in it before, but now that I'm working for Android Police uh, as a videographer on the mobile side, I thought it would be quite useful or maybe less useful, more interesting if I kind of did something separate here. Um, I haven't been forced to, they haven't told me to or anything. They said I keep my channel the way I want. Um, but I would just get bored making the same content over and over. And as you probably noticed, it's pretty much entirely IEMs on here now. So um, yeah, just thought I'd pop this in at the end of the video for anyone who actually cared. Uh, finally, I'm moving and there will probably be another delay or two um, just as we get moved in. So don't expect, you know, the schedule to be very consistent for the next couple of weeks or a month um, but after that we should be settled in so uh, thanks for watching guys and um, I will let the previous version of Ryan sign out the video. A big thanks to Linsol for sponsoring today's video and thank you for watching the video. Let me know your instant recommendations in the comments I'd really like to hear them. Please like and subscribe to never miss a video like this one. All important links will be in the description. I've been Ryan Thomas and I'll catch you later. Cheers.